in the United States of America that I've played the most and I'm so honoured that you guys have given up a Friday night of your time to be here. But I tell you, I'm going to play some songs that hopefully you know and if you don't know there is going to be a long two and a bit hours for you. <laughs> this is all from Bottom Play. Oh I'm a mess right inside Oh, my God. 
So for anyone that uh, has come to see me play live before, thank you for coming again. And for anyone that is coming to see me for the very first time tonight, I'd like to explain a little bit what I'm doing with my feet here. This thing on my feet is called a loop station. Everything you hear tonight is completely live. There is no backing track whatsoever. It is all made live on the spot and controlled with my feet. The way that it works is you press record like that, and then when you press play, it plays back, and you can add layers like that, like that.
Uh, it's good to be back here. So, although that I have I've done this a few times and I've been playing stadiums for a few years now, it is, this is still not a normal thing. But if, if I were to show you the town that I came from, I come from a tiny farming town in the middle of nowhere in England. And I didn't even expect success in England, let alone to be coming to Foxborough and being able to fill this out. My dreams didn't stretch that far, my dreams stretched to like playing to people in London. I didn't even think people over here would be interested in me and now this is like the, the fourth time, it's probably the fifth time I want to play this place. And now when I first played this place back in 2015, when I played it solo, the thing that really struck me about it was playing this next song and the reason why, I wrote this next song when I was 18 years old and it was at a time where I was playing in pubs. And each day, you'd write a new song, and you'd be like, This is the one! This is going to change everything! And you'd go into an empty pub that night, and you play to four people with their back to you, and then you go, okay, no, didn't work. <laughs> and when I wrote this song, I, I honestly thought, I was like, this, this is a good song, maybe this is the one that changes everything. And I went to a pub that night, and I played it to an empty room with four people with their back to me, and I went, no, not that one either. But then the more I played, the more people said, that's a good song that is. And the more it snowballed, and then it got bigger, and then it became a kind of minor hit in England. And then it became a major hit in England, and then it became a major hit in Europe. And then we went to Australia with it, and then we went to New Zealand with it, and then we went to Asia with it, and then we went to South America. And then we came to America, and America is always this place as English artists. I think so many English artists come over here thinking, oh, I hope they like me. And nine times out of ten, they don't. <laughs> Because you have your own, you have your own artists here that are, are amazing. So I sort of came over here being like, I hope that like someone likes me over here. And it just snowballed. And this is the song that opened up the door for everything. And the reason that I find it surreal playing it here tonight in Gillette Stadium is when I close my eyes, I can remember the empty rooms. And then when I open my eyes, I see 70,000 people singing the lyrics to it. <laughs>
I love being back here. I'm going to say that a lot tonight. I really feel like this is, I, I, and I don't say this lightly, but I have so much history in this place. I really think that this is my favourite place to play in the United States. Honestly. And I'm not, I'm not saying that lightly. There's a lot of cool places in the States, right? But I have a real connection here. Um, and I'm just, I, I'm, I'm going to get emotional. I'm, I love being back. This is wonderful. So I released a new album about a month and a bit ago and the album was sort of written over a period of time in my life over a month where I had some heavy stuff happen This particular song uh, is about my best friend that passed away really suddenly it took everyone by surprise and uh, you know, for the first month in between him passing away and his funeral I just didn't believe it, I, didn't, I, I, I just thought I'd bump into him We live in West London and we would always go out to the same places and I just assumed that when I, whenever I went out I bumped into him and it wasn't until his funeral that he kind of hit home that he wasn't coming back. But I wrote this song in the month leading up to his funeral and it's called Iceberg. <laughs>
that I wrote for Subtract, which was uh, the last album in the mathematical series. I'm not playing the last song that I finished for Plus, which was the first album in the mathematical series. I wrote this song in January 2011, and uh, goes like this. Give me love.
and around the musical director extraordinaire, keyboard playing genius, Laura, say hello. We're going to play a song for you before the band comes back on. Um, this is the first song that I finished for some tracks, and it's uh, the, the first song when I was kind of like, oh, I might have something here. And it goes like this. show was going to be me with a loop pedal and I released a record called Number 6 Collaboration Project in 2019 and that is not, I don't see that as like one of the mathematical albums, that was something I made on tour in America, it's sort of like a fun project to do whilst I was on tour and I made songs with loads of artists that I really liked and I put it out and then that was that and I was like well I probably won't play those songs at gigs and then some of those songs became big and when I was putting the set list together, I had just left them off, and I thought that was such a shame. So uh, I've known these lads for a while, we, we, we have played on, on numerous TV shows and all this sort of stuff, so we were sort of comfortable with each other, and we jammed out some of these songs. They went quite well, so we're going to play you a medley of some of the collaborations. 
she left, I tried to fill the hole with wine Some the drugs, when she came and ran the bowl at night You eat, you know the problem, see you when I see you man Gone so many people, but we don't know if I can land Tried to go, but I'm hot, drinking in the side Said it well, had to cross us, but don't take the same advice I remember what I said, you know it's good with me And we're not in halfway Is this the universe? When time starts taking over I just don't know if I
Let, I want to introduce you to a rock star by the name of Alicia, who is here. She's going to tear the stage down. But before she tears the stage down, I would like to hear 71,000 people all at the same time say, Hi, Alicia! Hi, Alicia! Well, it never gets old. Right. We're going to play a song for you. Actually, I'm excited to play this song here because I know that... <laughs> The roots are deep here. The roots are deep. The roots are deep. We're gonna get this.
moved out of, I, I moved out of home at like 17 and I moved to London. And my thing was just like, I want to play every night of the week. Because I wasn't very good at the beginning. And I, and, and I thought if I played every night of the week, I would get better. So I played every night of the week and I was writing songs in the day. And then eventually those songs, people took interest in them, people started coming to the gigs. I signed a record deal, 18 became a hit. I went on the Plus Tour, and that tour lasted two and a half years. And whilst on that tour, I made Multiply. And when the Plus Tour ended, I released Multiply, and then I toured Multiply for two and a half years. And by the end of that, I've been on tour for, you know, the best part of like seven years. And I, I got home, and my family said to me, take some time off, find a hobby. And uh, I quickly realised that I have no hobbies. No hobbies. My hobby is being on stage, and if I'm not on stage, I'm in the studio, and if I'm not in the studio, I'm on stage, and so on and so forth. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this week, I was in the studio. Thursday, I played a gig at the White Theatre in Boston, and here we are on Friday playing for you here. I really love this. I really love it. My music is all I can do, and um, but what I found is, uh, you know, writing an album can be quite a, like, it's quite a weird process because there's a lot of self-doubt involved. It's like, is this song any good? Am I any good? Can I write song? And when you are in that mode, sometimes it's good to get out of that mode. And I found myself in my off time, hobby time, just writing for the sake of it, collaborating with whoever I wanted to, whoever I felt like, writing songs in whichever genre I felt like, just experimenting and every now and then those songs go on to be sung by other people and when sometimes those songs get picked and people always say to me why did you give that song away and I always say that you can write another one Stevie Wonder has a great quote where he's asked what his best song is and he says I haven't written it yet so this is a song that I wrote in 2015 and it went on to have someone else sing it and it became a big hit for them and now I get to play it at shows and people know it all the times that you ran out of the rain All the clouds you let it to my name Think you broke my heart, oh God, for goodness sake Think I'm crying on my own, well I Didn't wanna write a song Cause I didn't want anyone And I still care, I don't But still in my phone on Maybe I've been moving on And I think it should be something that I want Never forget. 
we still having fun?
Um, the reason I've been calling you guys Gillette all evening is because I know that not everyone here is from Foxborough, not everyone here is from Boston, not everyone here is from New England. You know, people have travelled everywhere, from everywhere to be here today. You've driven, you've flown, you've taken trains, you've walked. And to come and see me on a Friday night, you've given up your time. And I do not take it for granted, you can be anywhere. This, especially on the you know, 4th of July weekend. This is the, this is the, this is the start. When they used to do Independence Day, you come and watch an Englishman. Say, like, you know, this is the fourth time I play this place uh, as a headline act, and tomorrow will be the fifth time I play this place. And I never expected to even play this place once. Um, I do not take it for granted. When I put this tour up on sale, you know, I haven't been in America until for five years. I wasn't sure that people wanted to come and see me. And we were playing to 71,000 people today, which is amazing. So, Thank you so much for taking the time out of your Friday. I hope, I hope you have a fantastic weekend, a fantastic holiday. If you're coming tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. But thank you. Stop the clocks, it's amazing. You should see the way the light off your head. A million colors of